So if food is supplied in time, the attendance and the enrollment, you realize that it's good. Because when the children see the store empty, the following day you will not get any person in the classes. And that's the word of Karamoja. We're going to trap that water at Lope, and we'll have a man-made lake there, a huge lake of over 50,000 liters, 50,000 50, million liters of water and we shall be able to do irrigation. But our effort here with this school growth fringe program is that we should make the people of Karamoja realize that they can produce their own food, especially a world food program, for the effort they have put in to make sure that our children stay in schools, learn and read by providing food. But World Food Program has supported us greatly as a, as a government because it is their effort that the women have been trained, the women and, the, um, and men, the people here, have been trained on how to benefit from agriculture. But in addition, how they can be able to feed the children at school because I think that is the biggest problem. What we're doing here is bringing a market that never before existed to them, providing them more incentive, to, uh, to produce more and increase the quality. Make sure the drying is done correctly, make sure the grains are clean, because we apply international food procurement standards. And so we may be buying from small, relatively simple farmers organizations in Karamoja, but our standards are just as high as those we, we apply to international uh, uh, traders, big traders in, in, in Uganda.